example up on my screen here in this SAT file of a treadmill that I've measured and I've gone over the perpendicularity call out in another module using the same exact measurement session but there's also a parallelism that appears on the drawing here. Let me go to the plain view of this drawing of this treadmill frame. Notice here that I've got a parallelism to the datum A of 30 thousandths. What it's looking at is the leader line will go all the way across here to a vertical wall of this other C channel or C section channel on this treadmill frame. So it's a little bit easier to see inside of the isometric view. But as you'll see, that um, there's two sides or two vertical walls to this treadmill frame. And the client wanted to test their parallelism. And notice down here that datum A was actually one of those vertical walls. So we're just going to test the other side, the other C-section frame rail, uh, for its parallelism back to that datum A. So I am going to go back to the SAT file here, and I'll put this in a plan view again, almost looking straight down as we did in the drawing in the PDF here. And I'll go to my review features here a second. I actually have this datum A line that was measured on this, on this treadmill frame. Let me hit the view a second just to show you. Here it is right down here, and I've got my coordinate system going right through that datum A line. So that's what I would like to see. But what I want to test is this other line up here that was formed on this other side. So I'll hit the right mouse key and go back into that. That datum A line, though, before I can do any GD and T testing against that datum, I have to check this box here. I need to enable this feature to be known as a datum. And I've got a down arrow that I can pick multiple datums or pick multiple letter designations for that datum. But the drawing wants it to be known as datum A. So that's okay. I like to see that. But now what I want to do is I want to go from screen here a second and look at this line right there known as the width line surface. So I'll left mouse key on that. And then I will right mouse key to get back into review features here. Okay, there it is. That's the width line surface. I've got a constructed line that's made up of eight points. Now, what I'd like to do is find out its parallelism back to datum A. So I'm going to say OK to that, and then go right up here to the GD&T pull-down menu. Once I click on that, here it is. I've got parallelism right there. So I'll click on that, and then this dialog box comes up here. I'm just going to move that down just a little bit here so we can see this feature up top here and the datum A down here. Based on my drawing here, I've got criteria that's 30 thousandths of an inch for parallelism to datum A. So that's what I'd like to populate in my tolerance here. So I'll go back to the SAT file and I'll change this to 30 thousandths back to datum A. And then the next thing I do is I come down to this selection of a feature and then I can use this down arrow here and it shows me all of the available options. Now I know that I named it the width line surface that I'm going to test against here. Uh, but if I had so much criteria out there, so many features, and I didn't remember what I named it, I can always use this green arrow here to select it from the screen. So, But I know I've named it the width line surface. I will highlight that. And then I will say OK to that. Now notice this dialog box that comes up. Here's the parallelism of that feature. I've got this tolerance in 30 thousandths, and here's the deviation that it saw from all of those measured features. I've got a deviation of about 38 thousandths of an inch, and then here is the out of tolerance. It's about eight and a half thou out of spec, and again, it's testing this width line surface to the datum A line. And I usually give that a name here too. I'll call that the parallelism of frame width, and then I just say okay. And then I'll go back to review features here just to show you what that will look like. It's highlighted here in my, in my results, in my report tab. And this is the graphic that would actually appear on your graphical text report. It's known as the parallelism of the frame width. And again, the way I can do this, though, or the only way that I can test anything against the criteria for the datums, is I have to highlight that feature that I want to test against and enable the datum to be checked in here with datum A.